Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. I'm actually really excited about this video. Today we're going to be doing the entire history of Princess Cordelia, what's her, what's her goddamn name again? Princess what now? Princess Cordelia, because she was referenced in the Sims 4 University, so I thought we should dive in, discover everything, and I'm not going to lie, I'm stumped. I have absolutely no idea what's going on, and I've researched it and everything, I'm still none the wiser, usually I get like my head round it after writing the script and stuff, but no, I'm thoroughly confused, I really am, she's referenced in so many different things. I'm also shocked because, guys, The Sims 4 has lore. I know, is this a joke? I would have never saw this coming, honestly, not a clue. And I kind of enjoy the fact that I don't have a clue, even in the slightest at what's going on. I do not have a clue, but it's good because that for me is, that's what The Sims 4 law is all about. The Sims, not even just Sims 4, but just law in general. Sims law doesn't make sense. That's what's so fun about it. I love these mysteries where you, you don't have a clue. You don't have a clue because it gets you thinking. And oh, I'm thinking, really? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. So basically there's this last called Princess Cordelia in the Sims 4 and she has her entire life told through objects in The Sims 4. She is also available for download on The Sims 4 Gallery, believe it or not. I really enjoy that actually. So before we go into the objects, I am going to jump in and create a sim and go through their stories and show you who they are because it doesn't give you too much information but it just kind of gives a general overview that you need to know before we jump into the story. So this is them on the gallery and it's not just Princess Cordelia here. There's a full family -a ding dong going on. It's absolutely insane. And the description reads, what simple description could attempt to summarise the extraordinary life of Princess Cordelia of the Royal House of Thibé. I have no idea how to pronounce that, I'm just gonna let you know now, like, not a clue. A poetic soul who enjoyed the ocean, the company of pirate suitors, painting jazz, carpentry and adventure, yet lost the home she so loved in a terrible invasion. A woman who not only survived a kraken attack, but used its power for her own purposes. Few sims can rival her story. So this, like I said, it gives a good introduction to who she is and also maybe who she does, I'm only joking. Let's keep it PG, we'll keep it PG. So this is Princess Cordelia herself. She's a serial romantic and a lyrum, which fits her personality, to be honest, and I'll tell you for why in a minute. She's also a music lover, which also fits, a creative, which also fits, and a child of the ocean, which also fits. It's mad. I would have never expected, no offense to the producers and stuff of The Sims 4, I don't mean no offend you, I, I really don't, but I'm I'm really shocked that the law is, it's inconsistent in the, in the way that it's all just kind of made up and it's all just for fun but it's consistent in the fact that these traits as we will see when we go through the objects line up with everything where law has struggled a lot in the sims 4 and i mean bella goth has changed race so have the caliente family as well so things have changed but at least them traits are consistent she's got very cool eyes almost like mermaidy and then obviously she's royal so all of her stuff is very wow okay very royal she lives up to it oh i like that too wow princess cordelia you are beautiful and then the first sim that that we get to meet is Long John Buttercups. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of context. She did date three pirate captains throughout her lifetime. And the first one, this is this guy, Captain John Buttercups. Why do you build me up? But it could be better. Apparently he was a bit too fond of Cordelia's corset, meaning the, the hunger jungers, you know, and he wasn't even slightly hygienic. <laughs> Oh, stinky. And you can see that here. He's also got the romantic aspiration, but he wants to find his soulmate and he's got the alluring trait. And he's a slob, which we know. <laughs> he's romantic and he's also a goofball. And I like him. Like, he might be a little bit stinky, but I don't know. The next one that she did was called Chas McFreelin. It's a bit of a weird name for a pirate, if you know what I mean. It kind of sounds like that 14-year-old lad on Facebook that's just discovered Alessi. I'm not a judge, so. The relationship with this guy broke down because even though he was a little bit more hygienic, which, be hygienic, shower and stuff it's, it's good for you and it was a great improvement from the hygiene of the last bloke it was also incredibly vain so Cordelia basically just jumped ship pardon the pun and got with someone completely opposite to the last guy that she was with I mean this guy is wants to be a leader of the pack he's gregarious self-absorbed neat and self-assured complete opposite of this guy god bless his soul he's just like hey I just want to have fun like I might not shower but I'm still here to have a good time and then this guy looked very serious look at his monocle monocles scare me a little bit I'm not Online. And then the final boyfriend that she had was a guy called Rodrigo de Pablo and he was clumsy, paranoid, but also a good guy. He also had the soulmate aspiration and he was a lover and I like this guy as well. I like them all, <laughs> to be honest. If I was a sim, you know, quite no. But he was so clumsy that he ended up losing his leg in some accident, but Cordelia ended up giving him a wooden leg and obviously that caught fire. And then we have her butler here, which is Bob the butler. He's got the mansion baron aspiration, he's business savvy, a snob, materialistic and neat. Perfect ones for 
a butler to be honest because you couldn't be like a working class butler could you because they're just maids but this is him he's not how I envisaged in my head actually when I was thinking about Bob the butler especially not after looking at his statue we'll investigate in a minute and then we've got Matilda the chef she obviously she's a master chef essence of flavor she's a music lover as well a foodie and a perfectionist so this is the entire family now I'm very excited to share the story with you because the story it's a hoot first mention of the story kind of comes from this land coral garden princess Cordelia painted this for gradually fleeing from the giant slots photos weren't commonplace so this paint was all she had to remind her of her old palace's painting studio this looks like the place where she used to live I think she's she's base game I think I don't know if the family is but the story is so this isn't a world that's currently in the sims 4 right now very European so obviously she had that land and then the story goes there was the great sloth invasion at <laughs> sloths invaded she had to flee a land and then she had to go away on the ships and basically become a sailor but while she was on the ship she like took some of her passions and for example this painting here one thing the princess was thrilled to leave back in her former kingdom was cat they shit everywhere and made her sneeze but nostalgia is a funny thing and so the princess found herself painting them music and everything see this ties in with the traits that we mentioned earlier when she was forced to flee she had to leave her beloved jazz band behind the wistful silhouette portrays the sax legend jacob golden tips <laughs> this wistful silhouette portrays one of the musicians and still playing blues in the deep blue purplish see oh I love that and then we've got like the other jazzy kind here which basically just emit the same story pianist knew that <laughs> if his body was to perish his name must live on for him so he rolled his piano out atop the submersible and played it until it went underwater that's so sad actually why am I laughing oh my god Sims 4 I did not think the Sims 4 would be able to get me right in the fields but here we are I've also got some flowers here because she loved flowers so obviously you can tell she's creative my favorite one I think is it this one yeah this one because she had to get rid of all of her bands because obviously I can't remember why but she had to get rid of all of her bands so she just used to paint pictures of instruments and even make her own instruments but nobody could play them so she just ended up painting them so that's basically the crack with that also with this one she basically made objects so we have a full set here of all of the objects that she made and these these give a little story as well so we've got the princess cordelia bookcase she left most of her books behind but she couldn't bear to be uneducated and so she had this bookcase constructed despite its delicate crab like legs it's actually built sturdily to withstand the occasional turbulence at sea same with all of these beds this bed is fit for a sea captain it looks like it belongs on a galleon i don't know what that is but that's cool when princess cordelia grew tired a <laughs> pirate breath Again, she retreated to the luxurious solitude of a bed such as this. The original bed was bottled down, but we've made it easier for land lovers to transport through. It's also a trifle easier to steal. And then we have a bathtub. The porcelain for this bathtub was heated by a fire breathing kraken that regularly attacked Princess Cordelia's submarine. When it attacked, the fire was channeled through a series of ducts before reaching the Epsilon. That's the name of the boat. On board kiln. How many other furniture companies can make this claim? Three or four tops? <laughs> and then we have some things here. So we have Bob the Butler. This one kind of makes me sad. Actually, I guess it kind of does match with Bob the butler kind of I mean I expected him to be a lot older just from that but this is really sad because when she went on board she didn't need a butler anymore but she missed him so much so she made this sculpture so she could have Bob on board I never even looked at this sculpture honestly in the sims before and I'm so sad that I haven't because it just makes me sad we also have this princess Cordelia royal bust princess came from miles around just to have tea with her of course we know today the princess had a thing for pirates yes she most certainly did so goody swooty come for the booty my ultimate favorite thing with the princess cordelia situation is these flowers right she enjoyed structured clothing and often spotted a bustle and corset this delighted her first pirate boyfriend we know the guy the one over here the one who was too obsessed with a bust this excited him so much the vase is actually based on the part and gift she gave upon dumping him lest he forget her curves or thorns <laughs> i love that i absolutely love it that's essentially the story of princess cordelia so she was in this really posh key european world she was a princess she was part of the royal family and everything like that and then the sloths invaded as I mean it makes no sense that part I don't want it to make sense I just like that it's there the sloths invaded she had to leave and she left everything behind went on this big boat got with three pirate men maybe at different times maybe at the same time and just basically spent her entire life making furniture painting paintings and meeting new men and I can't fault the last because oh if I could spend every single day painting a picture of a guitar and I could just get an endless amount of people being like hey I want to take you I'd be like mm. 
I'm chilling right now, but ask me again in five. Like, do you know what I mean? It's the life she sounds like, as much as, you know, there was the cracking and everything, the whole, I mean, she lost a kingdom, but it sounds like she had a lot of fun. So I, I enjoyed this one. I am going to give a little critique on this one, and I don't want to because I don't want to be negative because I've been so excited about the fact that there's law. But I know it's like an inside joke between developers or whatever, or whoever names the, the descriptions of the pitches. And as excited as I am, I have that law in the game, and I, I'd never, I don't know how I never even knew it was there. It's also so sad that it's only within the picture descriptions of a game you know I mean we've got the family through the gallery but we can't actually play it there's no nothing really there in the game I would have loved to have just seen law more inherent in the actual gameplay but on a positive note since Princess Cordelia has been included in the Sims 4 Discovery University and there's also been previous Sims from like trailers and everything going to the Sims 4 University I think that the Sims team are actually finally listening to us and we're actually going to get more law in the Sims 4 which I think is something that they definitely overlooked I don't think they've done it in a well we don't care about the players like so we're just gonna cancel this i just think they overlooked it and didn't appreciate how much we might have actually wanted it in the game i don't think it was a nasty thing but anyway i'm gonna end this video here i really hope you enjoyed it it's kind of a different style but because it was so heavily formatted around objects i just decided to just do it with the webcam on the screen and everything so that's that please subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching give us a like i also have a full playlist where i do an entire history of things so go check that out as well if you want and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye, 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 -bye guys mm -hmm.